Hello and welcome back to our MATLAB tutorial videos. In this video, we are going to go through the three-phase converter, the two level one, and we will have we will discuss the 180 degrees modulation technique. As we see in this converter, we won't have the neutral point, and we just connect it to ground and this is basically based on the our half bridge converter the single phase one we will just uh, have three of three legs in three half bridge legs in parallel and for each phase leg and we get the AC output from in between the legs as we discussed we will see that uh, our waveforms should be something similar to this figures here for our three level converter uh, three phase converter sorry and we will do the 180 degrees modulation technique which in this technique we all this switch like each switch conducts 180 degrees in one switching cycle So I'll, we will go and simulate this converter in MATLAB. So we built up this converter before. Now I'm going to make the three-phase converter. I'll just delete these ones. And I don't need this part. I would like to build up my converter from scratch again. I'll just keep the voltage measurement here. I will need that and here I won't need I'll just need one DC source which is 1200 then we will need other legs too for our converter Just copy these and I'll name these as my signals as T1, T4. This should be T2, T5 for my second leg. And I'll, um, I'll have an, the third leg as T three and T six now for a connection of legs I'll just decrease the uh, increase the space between these two so it will be easier for me Okay, now I have all the three phase legs for my converter. I'll just connect the negative and positive DC rail. And that's it. I am done with that part. I may need to measure my currents for each phase. So I just put these. Yeah, and I continue copying these for each my load for each phase. It's should I give like five ohms and zero point five for each. 
and then I will copy it again one for each face I have to connect them to the midpoints but before that I will use an a current me meter so phase A, B, C, they are ready. And this is my neutral point. Neutral point, ground point. What voltage I I'll keep this for my modulation technique. And what voltage I need, it is one from neutral to ground. VNG. This is my current, my first phase current. I'll just take this out of there so it's easier here. I, I phase A and I would like to see the voltage between phase A and neutral V A N or you can use small notations so V A N my fir first phase A current and you can look at the second phase current as well B well, let's use small letters for these so my phase currents and my phase voltage also I would like to see the voltage between phase A and B this is VAB I think that's it and now I will do the modulation technique for 180 degrees modulation I need to first of all T1 and T2 I will change them to T1 and T2 instead of a sine wave for 180 degrees modulation first of all my frequency is 60 Hertz my switching frequency and I can compare them to a constant and my constant should be 0 for 180 degrees modulation but uh, instead of using this to comparing it to constant with a r relational operator I, we have another component uh, in MATLAB which is compared to constant and I will replace these two with a compare to a constant. So and this should be the constant my constant is zero. Then I will copy this three times. Uh, sorry two times I will have three sets of these for each one for for one phase so this is T one T two should be this this is T4 T1 T4 T2 5 and 
I will have T3 and T6. So T1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1 and 4 are complementary, 2 and 5 are complementary, and 3 and 6. They are 3 and 6 complementary, 2 and 4, 5 complementary switches in each leg, phase legs in T1 and T4, similar to our half bridge single phase converter. And the only thing I need to change again is the this is zero degrees, the phase degrees for these ones is negative 120 and this is positive 120. So I gave the phase shifts and I will have 120 degrees phase shift between my, my carrier signals uh, for generating the pulses. Another thing here is 60, 0, and I need to change the sampling time. I will make it 1e minus 5 the same as my sampling time here. Also, I will check my simulation setting 1e minus 5, so it's OD4, and fix this step. I'll simulate the converter for one second. And I need to one e minus five. Now I'm ready to run my converter. So the converter is ready. And I can look at my results. So the first one is VAN, my phase current uh, voltage, which I see that it is the same as we calculated in our lecture notes. Also, VAN. VN, sorry, this was VNG and V it, the line voltage between two phases. And my phase which is an AC current. That's it for our the simulation of 100 uh, three phase converter to level three phase converter with 180 degrees modulation so please note that the converter that we just simulated didn't have a neutral point in the DC side so we can add a, also a neutral point here and we will divide it by two half DC voltage for each and your ground point then will be the middle point of these two and here You can just add a ground point two. So your neutral to ground point should you don't need this one anymore. And V A N the 
then we can just use this by dividing it into two then you can just run the converter and see how does how it affects your waveforms this is your VAB line line to line voltage and your phase voltage here also your phase current you can check and think think about it how it affects thank you for watching this video